Jules Verne's Five Weeks in a Balloon is a classic adventure novel that takes readers on an extraordinary journey across the African continent. Published in 1863, this early work by the prolific French author showcases Verne's imaginative storytelling and his fascination with scientific advancements of the time. Through a literary analysis of the novel, we can explore its themes, character development, and the author's use of language and imagery. The novel follows the daring expedition of Dr. Samuel Ferguson and his companions, Dick Kennedy and Joe Wilson, as they embark on a journey to explore uncharted territories in a hot air balloon. The narrative unfolds against the backdrop of prevailing notions of exploration, scientific discovery, and the spirit of adventure that characterized the 19th century. Verne uses the balloon as a symbol of progress and human ambition, emphasizing the power of ingenuity in technology in overcoming the limitations of the natural world. One prominent theme in the novel is the triumph of human intellect and innovation over the challenges of the unknown. Dr. Ferguson, the protagonist, embodies the spirit of the scientific age, relying on his knowledge and resourcefulness to navigate the African landscape. Verne paints a picture of a world where scientific curiosity and determination can conquer even the most daunting obstacles. This theme aligns with the optimistic outlook on progress that was prevalent during the 19th century, as society witnessed the rapid advancements of the Industrial Revolution. Verne's character development is notable for its simplicity and archetypal qualities. Dr. Ferguson represents the enlightened and rational individual, while Kennedy and Wilson embody the adventurous and loyal companions. Their interactions and dynamics create a sense of camaraderie that contributes to the overall tone of the novel. Through these characters, Verne explores the idea of unity and collaboration as essential elements for overcoming challenges, both in the literal and metaphorical sense. The author's use of language and imagery is a striking aspect of the novel. Verne employs vivid descriptions to transport readers to the exotic landscapes of Africa, capturing the beauty and danger of the unknown. His meticulous attention to detail enhances the reader's sensory experience, immersing them in the sights, sounds, and sensations of the balloon voyage. Additionally, Verne's language reflects the scientific optimism of the time, with a focus on precision and accuracy in depicting the workings of the balloon and other technological elements. Five Weeks in a Balloon also delves into the cultural and colonial attitudes prevalent in the 19th century. The expedition encounters various African tribes, and Verne's portrayal reflects the Eurocentric perspectives of the era. While the novel is a product of its time, modern readers may find elements that evoke discomfort or criticism regarding cultural representation. Examining these aspects allows for a nuanced understanding of the historical context in which the novel was written. In conclusion, Jules Verne's Five Weeks in a Balloon remains a captivating adventure that intertwines exploration, science, and human determination. The novel's themes, character development, and use of language contribute to its enduring appeal. Verne's ability to blend scientific curiosity with a sense of wonder creates a timeless narrative that invites readers to embark on a journey of discovery, both within the novel and in their reflections on the historical and cultural context in which it was crafted.